guys, thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Hella Beck, and it is time for a treasure video. So for those of you who have absolutely no idea what this series is, four times a year I will gather up things that I have been loving or things that have enriched my life in some way or made my life easier and I share them with you guys in the hopes that maybe I can enrich your lives a little bit. So I have all kinds of wonderful goodies to share with you today so strap in. I don't think it's going to be that intense but you never know. If you are a treasure vet you already know that I love starting with my beauty products first. So the very first item is one from Too Faced. It is part of their nude collection. The name of this one is Send Nudes. It is this really beautiful, almost orangey tint, which I seem to gravitate to, I've noticed. But I think it looks so lovely. It glides right on, and I would say it's mildly sheer, so it just kind of blends nicely with your own lip color. And I've really been loving this, so I'm really glad I picked it up. The next item that I have been loving is a BB cream from the brand Yada. It's actually a two-in-one. It is a BB cream and concealer. So on the very tippy top here, it has just a little mound of concealer. It has kind of a yellowish tint to it, which I wasn't sure I liked at first, but it actually works really well concealing like the purple under your eyes, you know, because yellow kind of combats the purple. So it works really, really well brightening underneath your eyes. As for the BB cream, it is my sole coverage anymore. It just glides on so smoothly. It fills in all my pores and it just leaves me with a really soft and pretty complexion. I have been loving it and I can't imagine life without it now. This next item was recommended to me by my hairdresser. After I got my hair dyed, she told me about it, said that it was an amazing product to use, especially for color treated hair. It helps with breakage. It is so amazing at making your hair so silky smooth. It is from the brand Pureology and it is a leave-in conditioner. So you just spray it into your damp hair, work it through, and I've let my hair air dry with this in it and it's outstanding. It just baffles me how well it works. I normally will spray it in my hair before I brush it through and it helps brushing like you would not believe. My next two products go together. They're from the brand Freeman and they are wet masks. <laughs> so the first one is actually a peel off gel mask. It's for brightening. It has green tea and orange blossom. So it goes on, I mean it's a gel, and then you let it dry and you just peel it off and it leaves your skin so soft. And with that I also ended up getting an anti-stress. It is Dead Sea Minerals. It's a clay mask. And this one's a wash off, not a peel off. I just I love masks and these are so wonderful. There's so many different types that you can choose. I think I went to Ulta to get these and they just had a huge section full of different options. So whatever you're looking for, whatever your skin needs, Freeman probably has it. And the last beauty item I have is going to seem really excessive, but I didn't know I needed it until I got it. So I needed to get more makeup removing wipes. They are my life. And while I was searching, they didn't have the brand that I normally get, which is the Yes To brand. So I was looking for something else and I've used Simple Brand before. So I ended up picking up Simple Brand. But then next to it, I saw these guys. It is specifically for removing your eye makeup and it is designed to be very gentle on your eyes and I thought this seems excessive but maybe I should give it a try because I try not to be judgmental and I try to give everything a fair chance. So I gave these a fair chance and now I absolutely love them. So on days that I have very heavy eye makeup on I just gently rest this on it and wipe it away and it works so well. It's outstanding. It blew me away and it's so gentle on my eyes it feels like I'm just rubbing water on them. So make fun of me if you want but I gave it a try and I love it and I think you need to as well. <laughs> Moving on to the only snack item that I have. As you guys know or may know or hopefully know or if you don't know I have been doing the keto diet. I'll go ahead and link above probably just week one. You can start from there and I have documented my entire journey through ketosis or at least the first 28 days so i've been on the search for different snacks that i can have different drinks i can have and i have become obsessed with this one thing and now i can't imagine life without it diet snapples peach tea it is so good it's amazing and it's only got one 
carb, that's it, one gram, and 10 calories for this entire bottle. So I have been drinking them like crazy. They are so good, so, so good. I also have sort of a miscellaneous item. As you guys know, I am a total journal junkie. I love them. I love every imaginable type of journal there is, and I am on a mission in life to buy them all. So I ended up finding this one. It is Draw the Story. So in it, every single page has a different story. So just a short story right on the top, and then it has this entire blank section for you to draw the story. So you can represent the story in however you choose to, in whatever type of artistic way you want, with crayon, with marker, with paint, whatever you want. <laughs> I thought it was such an interesting idea, and it gets your mind working in different creative ways and thinking in ways that maybe you wouldn't normally because you have a prompt here, and each story is different, and I thought it was just the neatest thing ever. So I picked it up, and unfortunately I haven't done anything in it yet because I haven't had time, but I'm hoping soon I'll be able to just pick a story out of it and I think what I want to try and do with it is draw comic style so with the story prompt because most of it has dialogue I think I want to try and draw it out in different panels and make a little comic so that's what I plan to do with this you could do literally anything but if this sounds like something that you would like I think I'll try and find this on Amazon and link it down below Honestly, this is the coolest thing ever, guys, and if you're looking to be creative, I think this would be a good way to do it. And finally, guys, I always end these videos with multimedia items, so I have two. One's a TV show, and the other is a movie. Both can be found on Netflix. I'm not sure about Hulu. Maybe. Probably not, but maybe. Actually, probably not, because I think they're both Netflix originals, so sorry. The first one is an anthropology. Is that the word I'm looking for? It is a series of different stories, but they all kind of connect together. The name of it is Tale of Tales, and it has Selma Hayek in it, I believe her name is, as well as, oh, I feel terrible because I can't think of his name, but he was in Brothers, the really curly hair guys. He was also in Tale of Dig and Nights. He kind of tags along a lot with Wolf Barrel. You know which one I'm talking about. And it is sort of a dark fairy tale, so it's very supernaturalist and it revolves around almost these like um, like grim fairy tales. It has that kind of feel to it. They weren't stories that I recognized. I'm sure they probably pulled from like myths or like actual stories, but I didn't recognize them. I thought it was a very fascinating show. It's like the perfect amount of dark without being too terrifying. I, I just really enjoyed it, so I wanted to share it with you guys. And the last show is one that just recently came out, I believe. It's called Agretzko. It's about this cute little red panda who is traversing the business life, you know, your typical office job and being like the peon of a company and dealing with all of these stressors and aggravations and not really having any other outlet other than death metal. <laughs> so she's just this cute little character that's screaming out her aggressions at this death metal cafe. It's like a karaoke cafe, but I just thought it was so spot on. It hits on all of the most common crappy scenarios that you deal with in a business setting. You know, dealing with your crappy bosses that don't appreciate you and push you around, dealing with annoying coworkers and butt kissers and I, it's just, it's so cute while still being so true and it just kind of helps you deal with those emotions in a somewhat healthy way, I think. So, I mean, it's true, but like not to the point of giving you anxiety, but rather connecting with it and understanding there are ways of dealing with these emotions, healthy or not. <laughs> all right guys, but that is all I had to share with you today. Hopefully you saw something you enjoyed because all of these things are near and dear to my heart. That's why I wanted to share them with you. Of course, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give me a thumbs up. I love seeing those. It helps keep me going. And oh my goodness, if you want to completely fuel me and run me for the next following year, subscribe to my channel because it's all I got guys. <laughs> That's not true, but it's kind of true. <laughs> all right guys, and that being said, thank you again so very much for watching and I will see you the next time around.